I think overall, after watching the last game, uh, there were certainly some areas where we made some improvements, you know, as a team. Uh, but I think overall, from start to finish, we didn't play uh, the way we would like to play uh, from a consistency standpoint. Um, you know, we just weren't clean and crisp in some of the things that we tried to execute. And, you know, one of the things that you don't want to create is, you know, people see your vulnerabilities, whether regardless of what you're doing, whether it's playing offensive line, covering a guy on defense, reading the right things, running the right routes, it, it really doesn't matter. And those things get exposed down the road if you don't get them fixed. So that's cer cer certainly something that we can take away from this game. Uh, in terms of our consistency, you know, in performance. Um, you know, I, one thing I would like to say is I know it was a difficult day for our fans uh, because of the, the circumstances surrounding the weather. And I'd like to thank the fans for supporting the team. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people hanging in there to try to, you know, support the team. So uh, I think the players really appreciate it. Uh, we know there are, you know, uh, it was a it was a difficult circumstance for a lot of folks, and hopefully, you know, our administration will continue to work to try to, you know, play some of these games at a different time. Uh, we certainly look forward to uh, the SEC um, opener. You know, this week, uh, Bill Muschamp has done an outstanding job of building a very very good program in South Carolina. They had a successful season a year ago. Uh, they're a very well-coached team in every phase of the game. Uh, their guys play hard. Uh, they sort of reflect the personality of their coach. And, um, you know, this is, a, this is a good football team. You know, they've got a lot of uh, veteran players coming back. I think 15 starters and both their specialists, kicker and punter. Uh, their offense is, you know, second in, I think, the SEC or whatever, over 500 yards a game. Um, they're leading the, the SEC in rushing with 310 yards a game. They've got a really good offensive line. They've got some really good skill players, a couple good wide receivers. thought the freshman quarterback played flawlessly, you know, last week for, you know, first game he's played in. Uh, they do a lot of things on offense, which are very difficult to defend uh, defensively. They've got good players. They've got a good front. Uh, these guys are aggressive. They... They play extremely well, um, and this is by far the best special teams group that we played, specialist and special teams, you know, certainly this year, but really ranks right up there with anybody that we've ever played against. So uh, this is not an easy place to play, and, um, you know, we're going to have to do a great job of getting our guys ready to play certainly their best football game of the season to have success in this kind of environment against this kind of quality football team. Your assessment of Jalen Waddle and his punt return style? Well, you know, obviously we had, you know, one big return um, called back because of very poor decision, you know, by a player in terms of a block in the back. Um, so he has been very productive. Uh, we get a lot of alternative kicks, uh, which takes great judgment on his part as to when do I field the ball, when do I not field the ball. Um, when do I stick it in the middle uh, when it's a middle return and when do I try to get outside? So uh, he's always done a pretty good job of that. Um, we, we, we certainly want to continue to help him improve uh, at his decision making so that we can uh, have the best production possible in this area. We saw Jordan Battle and Daniel Wright on the field to start the game this last Saturday. What went into that decision, and what did you see from those guys in the game? Well, I, I thought you know those guys both played well. It was an opportunity for them to get um, some experience, and they did. And you know we sort of rotated guys around you know back there quite a bit in the game. I think there were seven or eight guys that were playing in different circumstances and different situations, and um, there's nothing really that led to it other than, you know, I wanted to get those guys a chance to play some. Um, Coach, South Carolina's had to go from from 
Jake Bentley to a freshman quarterback, Kalinsky. Uh, what could you tell about him from the one game that he started? Well, he played great. I mean, um, I, I mean, a guy was like, I don't know, 26 for 30 or whatever, and they had a lot of yards. And um, he certainly didn't look like a freshman quarterback out there. He's a good athlete. He's got a good arm. He was very accurate. He made good decisions. He got rid of the ball. He got the ball out of his hand quickly. Uh, and he executed the offense extremely well. So, um, you know, I, no, no disrespect because we think, you know, Bentley is a really good quarterback and certainly experienced guy, but they didn't miss a beat, you know, in this game in terms of the quarterback position. Uh, speaking of not missing a beat, it seems like Jerry Judy has come back and could you kind of talk about his work ethic and the, the, in spite of how well he did last season, finding ways to improve and, and approaching the season like he apparently has? Well, he's, you know, Jerry's done a good job and, you know, we, he's been very productive. Um, I think with all receivers, you know, the constant sort of um, thing that we're trying to get our guys to do is, yeah, we want you to play great when you have the ball, right, but we also want you to play great when you don't have the ball. And I, I think that's in, in, in general theme that we want to sort of get across to, you know, all of our guys uh, because, you know, whether it's a running play, whether it's a passing play where you're not getting the ball and you have to block or you got to convert an RPO into blocking, um, these things are critical to uh, helping your teammates. No different than your teammates better do a good job when you get the ball or you won't have a chance to be successful. So. Uh, Jerry's been pretty good um, with the ball, and as a group, you know, we would like to improve a little bit when we don't have the ball. In what ways has Tua grown mentally in running an offense and both making right decisions when, when the ball is snapped? Well, um, you know, Tua's got more knowledge and experience of the offense, you know, right now, and uh, I, I think that. Um, he's more confident in understanding not only what to do, but why it's important to do it. And I think he's got a lot more knowledge of what the defense is actually trying to do and how they'll respond and react to certain things. And that should help him in his decision making and judgments. And um, I don't think we were real crisp in the passing game. I'm not talking about any fault of Tua's, but just you know, sort of sloppy in protection, sloppy in route running, um, just, you know, calling seven-man protections and getting too much pressure in the pocket. I mean, we just got a lot of things to clean up in the passing game. Uh, what do you remember from the 2010 game against South Carolina? And do you ever use that game as an example to other teams of, you know, staying on the process and th well, that season in general, actually? What year are we in now? 2019. So most of our guys were in grade school, you know, when that happened. But what I remember from it uh, is we got the line and kicked out of our britches. I don't know if you know what that means, but that means you get your butt kicked so bad you got no seam in the back of your pants. Um, so, yeah, I remember that. But I, I'll ask the players today if when they were in sixth grade, do they remember it? But we'll, we'll see. And if they don't remember it, I don't know how it motivates them, but I know this is a tough place to play and we got a lot of respect for the team that we're playing. And I think that the players on our team need to have the proper respect in terms of what they need to do to prepare to play a good team like this. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN Plus. We'll see you there.